Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, first off, in this advanced lyricism class, we're going to learn about the inward pin pinata. Um, the thing about this is something that I've studied um, ever since I went to high school, ever since I went to middle school. Um, it's basically something you guys have to know if you're going to be a hip hop artist and if you're just going to want to be part of this experiment. Now, on one side of the spectrum, if you say the word nigga, it's okay to say it. And um, there's really, you know, nothing else really fun or important about it, um, except for the fact that if you do actually expand on that, it does give us a little bit more we can do socially that we can understand. Um, on my end of the spectrum, it's okay to say the word nigga, but it basically taught me about the word pinata. And um, <clears throat> I guess you could just say that if a word was a pinata, and let's say we have something stored, I always feel like when I say nigga in a rap song, um, one thing I tried to study was that it was an offensive word. Um, you know, I am Spanish, so I know what negro means, but it doesn't sound like something nice, you know, plus the fact that, you know, Latin people, you know, to me, they look, I mean, this is just how it feels being Spanish is, you know, I have a big nose, you know, and it feels like a big bell, you know, and to me, it always feels like, you know, bullfighting, and I mean, families really close to each other, like stab at each other with razors and trying to hurt each other and like keep shit down and make it look like it looks good and still hurting each other. You know, it's something that's commonplace in Rome, you know, and I, I think that's disrespect to uh, people, you know, but to me, you know, I just think that the more you say a word that is kind of put up there in that zone to where respect is there, I mean, yes, it's okay to say the word nigga, but if you don't say it, you know, um, and you kind of realize that somebody could be being punched there, somebody could be being killed there, shot, you know, for example, you know, I live in South Carolina, and I know of a guy that I saw on the news that killed eight people in a black church because it said nigga, you know, and they were saying nigga, and that's disrespectful, and that many people, and then it's hanging that low, and I mean, that small, it's almost like looking at a rotten apple, because so many people were saying the N-word, and it's really violent to white people and any other race to say the N-word because it has Latin origins, and it does have, you know, striking and attacking and impaling, and it looks nice, but it really is not nice. And, um, I mean, even though you can still say, you know, you are my nigga and, you know, you're cool, I'm telling you, I mean, it does not roll off. I mean, it's supposed to, <clears throat> the word nigga is supposed to roll off of the shin. It's supposed to be able to kind of slide off of the shin and say, nigga, like that. You know, it's not supposed to, you know, be something else. But in order for me to get my lyricism to the best, I just don't say the N-word. And then I can say every other word, you know. And then, and then you know, I remember, you know, in 2010, you know, when I was rapping with this dude who was, you know, a crip, you know, and he wanted, he, he was a nigga by then, you know, he'd have to say nigga all the time because it's just being a nigga, you know, but the thing is, is that no matter what you are, you know, that, that you don't want to say a word that is a finite source of something when, you know, you're in a place where you have an infinite word or something, you know, you don't want it to be a, a, a finite source and you say the N word one time and you get this amount of something and then that's all you get and you never can say it again to get something else you know and I kind of experimented on that and I know it's just a word but it's also the fact that if you're a lyricism person you can watch the trends you can listen to the radio and you can listen to underground artists and above ground artists and everything in between but the ones that don't say the n-word um, are holding back something and it's it ends up in African you know, Africans can talk in a way where you can kind of, I mean, this is, this is really advanced shit anyway, but 
it's, 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 it's when you have the ability to kind of mumble, you know, and then we're getting the mumble rap and stuff, right? <clears throat> that is going to be the replacement of the N word. You know, and it's, 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 it's what words become, you know, so using the N word in that form of explicative where it could be anything, it could be spaghetti, you know, it could be L, it could be any word, you know, um, is useful, but your word doesn't need to be the same one twice because someone's going to come up. If it doesn't have a source of a pile of words, if you don't have a pile of words in each one of your words, um, you know, someone will ask you what it means and they'll be offended. You know, like, you know, if you say nigga and then they say, what did you say? And then you said nigga again and it was the same nigga that you said before, then you just got erased. You just got stepped on because someone just questioned what you said, you know, and didn't find anything good for themselves, you know. So um, in order to get your words absorbed right and be able to watch it because some people without much skill and they don't have anything else in their environment, they have to use what, what they're receiving, you know. So they're going to say nigga and they're going to say the N word. But I'm telling you, if I kept saying it, I would denounce myself until I'm just a bag of chips or maybe just some cheese. And I wouldn't be, I would smell like cheese, I would look like cheese, you know, and it's very unhealthy, you know, on either side, really. But I'm telling you, um, if you want to be able to use multisyllables, you can't use the N-word, you know, don't use it. Just be respectful, you know. And I mean, I'm not really a big fan of Nas, but Nas seems to have been the one who kept saying the N-word without saying the N-word when he was rapping. You know, and it seems to be describing, you know, how... I mean, I like the song Blood Diamond, but I didn't like the other ones. But it, it just seemed like he was doing... He was explaining this without saying the N-word. He's got a song called N-I-G-G-A. I know it doesn't bump and all that, but he's showing you what you sound like when you do bump. And there's no... You know, there's no, like, it's got to have a good, peaceful ease, you know. And I know the word nigga at times can feel like a beach, you know, going across your feet and going up to your ankles, you know, and it can feel fucking good, you know, and it can, you know, and it's not really that important. But, you know, make note of it. And it's really not that important. It's like looking at a fucking receipt. But, I mean, if you want it to look like a million dollars to you, that's great. You know, but my advice, as far as I've heard and as far as I've, you know, let myself be disrespected so much, because I, I said the N-word with the person I was ma rapping with, and I didn't like it, you know, but I just said it because I wanted to show them how I felt on that level, and I did not enjoy it, you know, and it didn't help me come up with better words. It didn't help me think. It didn't help me reserve what I'm going to say. It's good to hold that back, you know, and it's good... You know, to hold things like that back that don't make any sense to you, you know, and it's not a word you invented. You know, we didn't invent that shit. Send that shit back to fucking Spain, you know, when they had the Floridians and all that shit. And then they started calling everything like that. That's bullshit, you know. And I mean, I'm sure that shit was fucking violent because I know what it feels like. And it's not a good feeling. 